What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever felt like your energy, motivation or drive just isn't what it used to be? Like you're eating clean, you're training, you're sleeping enough, but you still don't feel strong, sharp or confident the way you know you should. One of the most overlooked reasons for this is low testosterone. The scary part is that most men walking around with low T don't even realise it. They assume it's stress, age or normal. In this video, I'm going to break down five signs you might have low testosterone, including two that almost nobody talks about. And then I'll show you one tool I personally use that's become a staple in my routine to support healthier testosterone levels naturally. Let's get into it. Sign one, you lack grip strength, overall physical strength and feel soft. One of the biggest telltale signs of low testosterone, feeling weak. Not just I'm out of the gym, but I used to be able to crush stuff. Now I'm barely moving heavy boxes. Low testosterone tends to make it harder to build and maintain muscle mass and strength. If you used to have decent grip strength, push harder on lifts or just feel stronger, but now even basic tasks feel difficult, that could be your body signaling that T is low. Also, aside from muscle mass, low T often affects body composition, making it more likely to hold onto fat and less likely to build lean muscle. Sign two, low mood, motivation, and mental drive, especially in the morning. Another massive red flag is mental, feeling unmotivated, low mood, brain fog, or just not giving a damn like you used to. Lack of testosterone doesn't just affect the body, it can really drag you down, your mental energy, motivation, confidence, or even your edge. You may wake up and feel dull. You may be less driven to work, train, build, create. All that stuff that once felt natural. If this resonates, keep listening. Sign three, fat accumulation, especially stubborn belly fat, despite eating right. Have you ever been the guy who eats clean, tracks macros, maybe even does cardio, but still stubborn fat creeps in, especially around the midsection? That could point toward low testosterone. Low T can impair your body's ability to maintain lean mass and burn fat effectively, even if your diet is decent. Over time, that fat builds up and you might chalk it up to age, bad genes or slow metabolism, but low T might be part of the equation. Sign four, low libido, sexual function decline, lack of morning wood, low sexual desire. This one's a biggie. Testosterone plays a massive role in sexual function, libido, erections, drive. If you notice persistent lack of morning erections, reduced libido or diminished sexual performance, that can be a strong indicator of low testosterone. It's not just about sexual health, the drop in libido often comes paired with dips in confidence, motivation, mood, everything loops back. Sign five, chronic low energy, poor recovery, fatigue, and lack of masculine drive. Maybe you used to bounce up after workouts quickly, sleep well, wake up with energy, lately you feel beat, sore, or motivated. Recovery takes longer, even if you sleep well enough, you're draggy. You feel less like the you you know. This chronic fatigue plus lack of vitality can be a core sign that your hormonal health, including testosterone, is suboptimal. Okay, so if you see yourself in two, three, four or more of these signs, you might want to pay serious attention. But now the fun part, what can you do about it? Especially without jumping straight to TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. For many men, lifestyle and biohacks can help support hormone health. And that brings me to my favorite addition to my daily routine, red light, Nay infrared therapy. Why red light, nay infrared therapy, and how I'm using it. I'm currently using a device called the Flickies Spectra Panel Elite 78. It delivers 660 nanometers red light and 850 nanometers nay infrared light, which are wavelengths known to penetrate tissue deeply and influence cellular function without the harmful UV you get from sunlight or tanning beds. And I want to be clear here, I'm not here to hard sell anything. I'm just showing you what I personally use as part of my biohacking stack and why I use it. Now here's the interesting part. Red and name for red light are used in something called photobiomodulation therapy, also known as low level laser therapy. All that means is certain wavelengths of light interact with these cells in a way that improves how they function, especially your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are basically the engines inside your cells. When they work better, you produce more ATP, which is cellular energy, less oxidative stress, better recovery, everything works more efficiently. And this matters for testosterone because Ladex cells, the cells in your testes that actually produce testosterone, are extremely mitochondria dense. They are very sensitive to cellular energy status. So if your mitochondrial function improves, 
there is a plausible biological pathway for testosterone production to improve as well. That's the theory. Now here's where it gets interesting from a real world perspective. A lot of you probably know Ben Greenfield, one of the most well-known biohackers in the space. Ben has publicly talked about using red and named for red light therapy, including targeted exposure, as part of his hormone optimization routine. At one point, Ben openly shared that his testosterone levels had gone from already healthy levels to well over 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, and red light therapy was one of the tools he credited as part of that stack, alongside sleep, training, nutrition, and other recovery strategies. I'm not saying red light alone triples your testosterone, that would be irresponsible. What I'm saying is this, when someone like Ben who measures everything, blood tests constantly and experiments carefully, keeps red light therapy in his routine and attributes part of his hormone optimization to it, that's worth paying attention to. I'll link the exact video where he talks about this down in the description, so you can hear it directly from him, not me. Now, something a lot of people don't realize about this panel. Specifically, it doesn't just do red and name for red. This panel also has a blue light feature that plays a completely different role, especially when it comes to mood, circadian rhythm, and skin health. In the winter months, especially here in the UK, a lot of men feel flat, low, unmotivated, even mildly depressed, and they assume it's testosterone. Sometimes it is, but very often it's also a lack of proper morning light exposure. Blue light in the morning when used correctly helps signal to your brain that it's daytime. That increases alertness, supports dopamine signals, improves mood and helps set your circadian rhythm so you sleep better later at night. That's why during darker months I'll sometimes use the blue light mode in the morning only, never at night. Just short exposure while I'm waking up, journaling or doing mobility. It's basically mimicking what we're supposed to get from natural morning sunlight, but though during darker months. There's also a skin side to this. Blue light has been used in dermatology for years, particularly for acne prone skin, because it helps reduce acne causing bacteria on the surface of the skin. It's not a miracle cure, but as part of an overall routine, it can definitely help keep skin calmer and cleaner. So you've got it. Red light and name for red for recovery, cellular energy and hormonal support. And blue light, for morning alertness, mood, circadian rhythm, and skin health. Different tools, different purpose. Another thing I really like about this panel is the five different intensity programs. You're not locked into one setting. You've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100% intensity. And this matters because photobiomodulation isn't always a more is better thing. Some days I'll use 20 to 40%, especially if I'm just waking up doing light recovery or stacking it with breath work or meditation. Other days after training or on heavier recovery days, I'll push it to 60 to 80%, sometimes even 100%, but for shorter durations. That flexibility is important because it lets you tailor the exposure to how your body actually feels instead of forcing the same protocol every single day. And when you zoom out and connect all this back to testosterone, better sleep, better mood, better recovery, lower stress, healthier cellular energy production, all of those indirectly support healthier testosterone levels. Let's look at what the research says. There was a study titled The Effects of Low-Level Laser Therapy on the Testes in Elevating Serum Testosterone Level in Rats. In this study, researchers applied a 670 nanometer diode laser and in one group, an 808 nanometer laser to the testes of male rats for 30 minutes per day over five days. On day four, the group treated with the 670 nanometer laser showed a significant increase in serum testosterone levels without harmful tissue effects. The authors concluded low-level laser therapy might represent an alternative non-drug method to support testosterone production. Why this matters to you? The fact that light exposure in red name for red range could stimulate testosterone in mammals suggests a possible pathway, especially given the role of mitochondria in Ladex cells. There was another study titled Name for Red Photobiomodulation Therapy for Age-Related Changes in Testosterone in Mice. In this experiment, researchers exposed both young and aged mice to Name for Red Photobiomodulation Therapy. They found a significant increase in serum testosterone levels after therapy compared with mice kept under normal light conditions. The therapy also improved erectile function in older mice and reversed some age-related tissue degeneration. Again, why this matters to you? This isn't just about mood or pain. This study suggests name for red light therapy may restore testosterone levels and sexual function in aging mammals, 
which aligns with what many biohackers are aiming for. Now something to bear in mind, red and neighbor red therapy may be promising, but it's not a guaranteed testosterone booster. At the best, it's a low risk complementary tool that supports hormone health when combined with good lifestyle habits. Now I want to talk about how I use my Flakees Spectra Panel Elite 78. I expose myself for around 10 to 15 minutes daily, targeting either the full body or lower body areas depending on the session. I combine it with proper sleep, balanced nutrition, resistance training and stress management. I'm not saying this is a magic bullet, but it's one of the best low risk biohacks I've personally used. Now those five signals we talked about, weak strength, low mood and motivation, fat gain, low libido, poor recovery, all share overlapping roots in hormonal health, metabolism and cellular energy. Red and named for red therapy, won't fix everything, but for some men, it can be the one lever that nudges physiology in the right direction. If you recognize two or more of these signs, maybe it's time to stop ignoring them. For me, using a red and name for red device like this is part of my broader optimization routine. I pair it with proper sleep, training, nutrition, and mindset work. I can't promise miracles, but I feel more stable, more energetic, and more like myself. If you decide to try something similar, do it with a measured mindset. Track your baseline, stay consistent, and pay attention to how your body responds. I will include a discount code in the description. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.